This is an interesting situation. Oh gosh, what happened? Went right back in the hole. Yeah, just as I approached the nest, a little lizard went into the hole. Oh gosh. This is not what I wanted to see. This ought to be extra gentle here. Well, the story of this is 91 days after I watched the female lay her eggs, I opened the nest to find little lizard tails, or one, and I just stopped right there at the point and allowed them to merge on their own, which I have video of also. Uh, this is very unusual, as it usually takes about uh, 60 days for the uh, lizards to hatch. And so I don't know why this took 91 days. And quite frankly, who knows how much more time they would have. So we have another little baby that just came out. Uh, he may have come out this morning. And because he didn't get very far. He came uh, a little, just the length of the spoon over to here. Did not notice him. Uh, a couple of interesting things is, is the first lizard that came out yesterday, which I filmed, he went over to a location over here and dug into the dirt. And a few hours later, he dug back out. So uh, let's see what we got going on here. I'm going to just slowly break up this nest. Don't really want to stress out this little guy, but I want to dig before it gets too hot today. Okay. Be a little bit more gentle. Let's see what he does. I want to count how many egg uh, shells that are left behind in there. Get an approximate count. Also notice if there's any ones that did not hatch. Um, I've only seen that happen one time. Uh, basically meaning that all eggs hatch or are viable. And the one time I saw it is the uh, the lizard was rather mutated so it was kind of a stillborn if you will. Well, I'm doing a really good job of closing this thing back up. Let's get a little closer in here. You see, so I have a, a root that's covering the top of this. Makes it a little bit more difficult to get in. Provided a good structure of keeping everything nice and firm for the mom who dug the place. Kudos to her. Okay, here's one thing. Here's one egg shell that has uh, empty, pretty tiny. I really want to see how far back this nest goes. Let's see if that can give us any clues of why the gestation was so long. I did my best to uh, follow the trail, but you never know. Perhaps this was a nest that was dug later from another angle, which should be discovered by where this, uh, how far this nest will go. Okay. okay, little guy, why don't you come out so I don't want to, so I don't hurt you. These are uh, blotch-sided lizards or side blotched lizards. Different people call it different things. They have a very interesting dimorphism for their genders. I believe there's three male genders and two female genders, all dealing with aggressiveness and uh, territoriality and such like that. Um, it's believed to be an adaptation mechanism. These little lizards will sometimes have uh, multiple clutches per year, whereas bigger lizards who live a bit longer tend to have one clutch per year. So they're evidently their survival mechanism. Evolution. There he is. There's a little guy right there. Okay. Okay. You can stay there if you want, but I'm gonna dig around you, okay? Um, is to have multiple clutches and have more babies. Um, to enhance their survivability. So, this is kind of a survival tactic that's used in many prey species, if you will. And these guys are prey species. I have uh, crows here 
that have a bird bath that they like to bring the spoils of their of their hunts, which is another interesting thing. I did not know that crows hunted, but when they bring I'm seeing a, another possible nest here. When they bring the spoils of their hunt alive, you can't help but thinking that that's just not carry-on that they found and they're bringing to their um, bringing to the watering table. They like to dunce, uh, dunk their food in water, especially when they're uh, when they have babies, because that's one way of getting water to the nest is to drench it in water. And that way, the, they're getting food and water at the same time. So since we already know we have a nest here, I'm going to go into kind of major nuclear dig out here. Don't have to be too gentle. Now, at the 83-day point, I did dig this nest to this point and uh, found out there were still eggs there. So I just put a dirt clod over the hole and then added dirt on top of it. I put the dirt clod there so that we wouldn't get fill dirt covering, maybe perhaps smothering the eggs. Not sure what that would do, but um, seems like the mom went a long ways to dig a cavern um, that gave air around the eggs and so I was going to do the same thing. And I've done this several times before, not knowing the full gestation times of the eggs and it's worked out well in every time before so it, 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 no harm so it looks like we're going to come out behind this root right here I'm going to have to get rid of a lot of this from above this is an interesting dirt area here it was hard packed dirt that had a lot of uh, litter on top of it by litter I mean a lot of dead leaves and such like that that another layer of dirt was placed on top of it. And that came from um, years and years and years of uh, prostrate acacia growth that I cleared out about three, four years ago. And so it was uh, self mulching, if you will. And it kind of gave us a stratification. It may or may not be uh, something that the lizards liked because they could easily get to a soft area just by digging through a little bit of a hard area for a while. Also, um, if there's any moisture, that litter can actually create a heat environment, keeping moisture there and also as it decomposes, providing heat. So that may or may not uh, be something that they took in consideration. Um, many species near water use that as a uh, way of gestating their eggs at a, at a nice warmth. Also, the temperature oftentimes determines the uh, sex of the uh, of the babies. Uh, most likely, like a lot of alligators and uh, perhaps crocodiles. Of course, we don't have crocodiles in the United States. So, or at least not on purpose. Probably have some in Florida from one being let go. They're an old world lizard. Okay, so what do we got? Ah, so we're seeing the beginning. I thought there's going to be a bit there. I'm getting to the back side of, of the uh, hole right there. I'll know when I get to uh, the chamber with all the eggs, I'll know, oh, there we are. I think we're getting there. I'll know we're that we got where we're planning to go. If we have time, I was thinking I'll dig back that way just a little bit and uh, see if I can follow that down. You just never know. If this is a popular area, you never know if uh, other lizards like the idea too. Now this is a very strange uh, nest in that I watched the original mom dig the nest and then Another lizard, if not the same one, very difficult to tell. They weren't wearing any tags. Redug the uh, the nest and uh, and filled it back up some point later. No idea what that was about. Don't know if it's the same lizard. Uh, perhaps another one said, "Oh, look, a pre-dug nest makes my job a lot easier." And then laid more eggs. So I don't know. Um, same species. So at least we didn't have the situation of having a. Uh, a mixed nest 
we have other lizards in the area that are very quite common, uh, including skinks. Not 100% sure of how skinks go about there. Um, laying eggs. I have a feeling they just basically lay eggs in pre-dug holes like mouse holes and things like that, like alligator lizards. I'm not sure. Sometimes they will um, crawl underneath a rock and kind of glue their eggs to the back side of a rock. So it's not, not the elaborate digging of a nest that these uh, blotch-side lizards and the fence lizards and the spiny uh, granite lizards do. tend to be a little bit bigger, of course. I have some videos that you can search regarding that. Some of the, uh, the females that are at the point of laying their eggs are beautiful. Um, they have varied colors that they uh, have. Well, they had to make this one harder for me. By just there's here's a, a, a root, another root here, so I have to dig around all this. And I'm not seeing. Oh, okay. As you can see, here's another eggshell, all deflated, like parchment. I might have to uh, destroy the area above it again, just to make it easier. As I'm not lizard size, and I can't go in between those roots as easily. Imagine that some biologists who are really into not destroying the environment here have to put a little bit more time and effort into doing that. I'm not one of those. Okay. At least you got a chance to see the uh, another lizard just pop out. Could be a backside to this. Another secret way in. Not familiar with any species that does that. You know, kind of like the false dead drops that are in the tombs of the uh, pyramids. Some species of uh, gophers will do that underground animals. They'll, they'll create dead areas mostly, I think, to uh, prevent any type of um, drowning. Here's another little egg right there. So they actually have underground high, high zone areas that they uh, can resort to. Lizards don't live in these nests. These are only for um, their eggs. In fact, if they're just trying to get it, I don't believe they dig anything for getting away from the heat. I think they'll just use existing structures. There's another little uh, egg. So we're getting pretty close. shout out. I lost the information, but one of the first nests that I was able to excavate, um, I was contact and put published on YouTube, I was contacted by a gentleman doing his PhD thesis, and it was the first I found out about the different types of dimorphisms of the genders on it. He sent me a copy of his thesis, which I've had a couple computer crashes in that time, and I can't dig it out. I would really like to see that, if that's possible. If, if, if he is watching this again, as a gentleman about the whole situation, I published it on YouTube for all to use. He asked permission to use it, which he was welcome to and under any circumstances anyway. Uh, but at least I was able to find out that it, it did somebody some good. You know, did root. So, made it worthwhile doing this. Appreciate the feedback that way. But is there any chance that that uh, person is watching this video, if they can contact me again, that'd be great. I'd love to see that, uh, that paper that he published again. Also, I've been contacted by the local Natural History Museum and, and, a, and the 
according to them, at least to their knowledge, and of course my own rudimentary research, uh, these videos of, uh, of these blotch-sided and granite lizards and fence lizards hatching in the wild um, don't exist anywhere else. These are the only cases. Well, this is not even a root. This is a, got a rock here. So maybe if I grab onto that and pull it up, I might be able to save some time. Most of the videos that you'll see is that they will actually dig the nest up and then in laboratory conditions observe that next day lizards hatching. And that's that's fine. It's just I this this is being done in my backyard, so it's a matter if I observe a lizard digging a nest, I can just uh, put a camera up without it being molested by any hikers or anything like that. And uh, and then of course. <laughs> with the standard idea that they take about 60 days to hatch. I set the camera about one week prior to that, expecting to catch them, perhaps within that 60 day or, or within the, here we go, uh, there we are. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's letting me get really far back there. Not many eggs, evidently. Um, And, uh, and then, of course, I have to review through the film. I do it very quickly, essentially looking. Whoops. That looks like another egg over here. Could be. It looks like we have another open area on this side. Um, I review the film going really fast, looking for uh, just movement and there's very light dirt here and such like that. So a lot of false leads with bugs and things like that walking across it, because I usually don't see the bugs unless I stop the film. Sometimes the wind, but that way I can go through about eight hours and eight minutes, which I have done for the last um, roughly month, because <laughs> it was a bit longer than uh, the 60 days, actually more than a month. be two chambers attached to one. If I can find another set of eggs there, that's going to be very interesting. Might explain why she went down there twice. Not seeing anything so far. No eggs yet. Pockets of soft sand. You can see this? Kind of odd. I haven't counted how many lizards came out um, of the nest yet. I have to go through all that film. Yeah. This looks like a uh, area that I had perhaps dug a hole for planting something and put some uh, potting soil in. Hard to say. It happened a long time ago. See it. I would imagine that would be perfect for uh, digging through for the lizard, but I don't know if it would hold up for them um, making a little cavern that would hold up for them. It's a little root. Don't need that. Let's get that root out of the way. going our way back there. No more eggs. I'm going to try this 
just a little bit more. So an idea that where the spoon, give you an idea that where the spoon um, round part was at is where the nest started. And then she dug down pretty much straight as far as I can tell. A lot of times they'll go at a 90 degree angle and then down, which oftentimes then at the 90 degree angle is where the lizard babies will, will grow up or, or climb up. So um, if I want to get a really close video of that, I'm really zooming in on an area that I might miss because the lizards may actually come out not where she started the nest, which is pretty much the only reference that I have. Not seeing much more, so yeah, she didn't. Well, so she didn't have a not that big, not that big of a brood. Now those lopsided. Well, I don't have. I haven't counted them all. They may have come out like a clown car. You know, I haven't seen that. I've seen that happen. That is funny. In fact, I named one of my videos called "Lizard Clown Car," and you see like two little heads sticking out at a time sometimes. Um, trying to, you know, push ahead of each other, and it's just amazing. I mean, imagine that your first day in life is to get out of a, of a egg in a dark hole and climb through many times your body length of uh, pretty much packed dirt. I mean, it's she's pretty dug it, but, you know, we've got two months of rain and, and compacting and things like that. Okay, I may have to call it quits based on here. I'm not seeing anything else indicating that. Let's just kind of go down this one just a little bit, see if I can follow anything. I think we may hear it. I think that's it. That's it. That's the, oh, wait a minute. That's the, uh, the lizard nest. If you have the interest to watch them all together, I'll try to link them down in the description of all the links together. You can see everything that happened on this particular uh particular um, excavation and, and uh, lizards. Again, these are blotch-sided lizards. This was a JVC camera uh, with a 64 gigabyte card. It gave me eight hours of recording of uh, high quality. It turned out really well. I keep it shrouded in a box to prevent it, prevent it, prevent it to protect it from the elements. I think we've got everything done. I'm going to leave that open just in case there's any stragglers in there. Give them a chance to get out easily, and then I'll cover back up later today. Anyway, I'm glad that you had an opportunity to uh, watch this excavation, and um, hope you learned something from it. I do every time.